Welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. It has been a while. Just a bit. Some drama that definitely doesn't yeah, quite I was fit say, here. Well, and life has been happening, and I think that's enough on that topic. Yes. It's been long enough, that, though, that you can see the seasons have changed here in the Somerset Isle. Mm -hmm. Unlike the 95 degrees outside. Um, it's winter here. Just a bit. Um, okay. Green hair. Yep. I, I don't recall Piles doing that, but never mind. Uh, it happened quite often in uh, the old arena days. Yeah. So, um, I had a small refresher, but uh, basically, we are off to the Crystal Tower. Let us go then, you and I. While the evening is laid out against the sky. <laughs> Alright, so, let's uh, first don our helmet. Good call. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that some grace, but no cares. And Oop. we've returned. Yeah, we returned. Um, we're still here looking at this green hair lady. But uh, so anyway, we are off to Crystal Tower. Actually, one fun thing with uh, the character designs here, uh, I actually had made them in perler beads before. Yep. Uh, they actually translate really well to that because just uh, pixel art works well in general uh, with perler bead designs. Yep. Uh, pixel art only in Melton. Yep. <laughs> Slightly. All right, so, the chef, yes. The crystal tower dominates the area, rising like an accusatory finger painting at the sky above. This bastion of sorcery seemingly transcends normal human conceptions. Well, the piles. Existing in many planes other than this, you can sense the fifth piece of the Staff of Chaos. Ka chaos. Chaos. Somewhere above. And right. here we are. And what to save. Yes. Let's go, woo, rat, rats. <laughs> Empty. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so first things first. Let there be light. Mm-hmm. You enter the halls of the Crystal Tower greeted by strange sounds and sights. Well, strange sounds and sights is kinda why we're here. Mm-hmm. Ah. This one here is familiar. Yep. Yeah, I, this is one thing that uh, Daggerfall, uh, or this game definitely has over Daggerfall. You see something new mm -hmm. in the main dungeons. Yeah, it feels distinctly different. How are they getting the appearance of 45 degree angle walls? Uh, technology. Well, I was going to say, because at this point, everything, yeah, it is 90 degree angles. But that sure is regenerating, oh dear. Okay, well, didn't we figure out a way to defeat them before? Uh, you can kill them, they'll just come back. Well, actually, I have a spell for this. Say, didn't I have a, a freeze? Uh, I don't recall, actually. Or paralysis? What do we have? <laughs> oh, Medusa's gaze, there we go. Yep. It's been a while on some of these. Bye. I think we have the light heal. <laughs> There's something just drained my uh, sword place thing. Well, at least we got some gold out of it. That, 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 that's pretty on par with how these dungeons usually start. Yeah. Let's see if we can find somewhere where we can take a nap. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. And once again, let there be light. Yeah. Save after that, because that was kind of a rough go. Yep. Thankfully, we don't have any time limit here. 
Yeah. You know, I remind of uh, what uh, Folding Ideas said about World of Warcraft. It's not so much, you know, Twitch gameplay difficulty. It's more is just, you know, a test of patience. Mm -hmm. Ah, Yay. we're getting good at that. Mm -hmm. Kind of surprised. We... Oh, hello. Let's see, we have an absorbed spell. I believe we do. Shalador's Mirror Spell Absorbe. Keep going. Woo. <laughs> okay. Honestly, we might just want to have Shaldor's mirror on in general while we're walking around here. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side. Are right, you jerk? There we <laughs> go. Yay! Yay! All right. Oh, five bonus points. Yay! Alright, so intelligence is already pretty high. Um, that probably wouldn't hurt. Endurance will give you more hit points. Strength never hurts to add a little more to. I wonder... Okay, so that will... Yeah, you know, let's do that and then a bit toward agility. Okay, that's fair. And then I think we're saving. Yep. So, can we make that jump? Uh, depends. Hey, jump button. Think you can make that? Thank you. <laughs> hey, camera. <laughs> hey, camera, you mind sticking it somewhere? Uh, okay. Can I, can I, please? No, I think please. he needs to get closer. Please. That was like those adventure games. Come a little closer. Huh. You know, you know, the great thing about, um, yeah, being able, yeah, being able to move your camera like a normal person. There we go, some gold and a crystal. All right, well, that's, that's, that's not nothing. Yeah. Not nothing. Time to bob around these corridors. Always look on the bright. I'm sorry, every time this comes on, that song immediately gets stuck in my head. We're probably going to have to explore down there eventually, but let's see what we can reach for on the upper floors first. Yep. I wish I knew what that sound pretended. Yeah, it might just be random noises. Ooh. Let's see. Well, the good news is they blew themselves up. Yes. Shelter's mirror is a great spell. Actually, I wasn't even reflecting. They just that was fireball. They just blew themselves up. Whoops. All of my this place abandoned hope. Well, okay. That's cool. The vampires regenerating. Oh dear. Okay. So this is gonna be a rough one. Oh god. Okay. Mm. Slightly more gold this time. I'm gonna save. Yep. Uh, we might want either a That's mirror a or spell absorption on. I think spell absor absorption that way. Uh, yeah, but we we can always get our magic points back. Yeah. Okay. There's the hellhounds. See, don't even yeah. have to rest. Perfect. Uh, in that case, we should make a point of continuously using magic, too, I think. We are both absorbing and reflecting, and there's a friend. Oh, that, that's a familiar sound. We may want to heal. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean backseat drive there. No worries. Can I use my sword, please? Thank you. All right. Uh, then. Yeah, that's kind of 
kind of neat the way that they built in his cloak there and added cloak pins to the shoulders. Yeah. I rather like that sprite work there. Is it dead? Is that as dead as it gets? Can you loot it? <laughs> oh! Yes! Okay. Up yours. Uh, since we got the message of vampires regenerating, I suspect that we'll be seeing him again. Oh, is that right? Okay. Uh, let's get our spell absorption back on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Just to be on the safe side. Good job, dude. Oh, perfect. <sighs> Ooh, some nice stuff. Hopefully, hopefully the bracelet is of something good. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, when we were offline, we were actually talking about uh, seasons not really changing in later Elder Scrolls games. Yeah, and yeah, there's a whole host of reasons, I imagine, to for that. Um, yeah, I think it's probably chiefly that uh, the community it, modeling snow is quite different from adding a snow layer in in sprite form. Yeah, that, that, that's a whole ton of effort for the, for the art department. And not necessarily worth it, ultimately, but it is a nice touch that I kind of miss. I think... Actually, one um, one of, of the cre cre creator kit or creation creation club items in the special edition of Skyrim does play around with it. Okay. Uh, I've yet to look at it fully, so, so I am, I am curious. That's the sort of thing that you would kind of expect from a dedicated mod community. Yeah. Which the Elder Scrolls continues to have. Yep. Actually, even in, um, even in, uh, hold on, in Elder Scrolls Online, you could do, like, small mods. That's kind of neat. M most of it is interface because, um, you know, you will completely throw off uh, the precious balance. Yeah, I was going to say, gameplay mods are probably not really a thing in something massively multiplayer. Yeah. But I can see interface mods changing. The tables have turned. Mm-hmm. Now you get to absorb their uh, spell absorption spell. <laughs> well, I think it's more of a spell drain. Yeah. I, it, we've been away from this for a while, so I am falling in love with the soundtrack again. Speaking of ESO, I've been playing that a lot lately. Huh. What is it that you like most about it? Um, hmm. <laughs> Just a second. Clunk. Just a second here. Oh, man, that is not even fair. What? Uh, probably because uh, you had. You. All right. Do we have our spell absorption on? Well, that that wasn't. From yeah, I know. It's more just it's on. general caution. Where is 
this door. Other side of the wall. Mm-hmm. Oh, Love yeah! To challenge you. Our battle will become legendary. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna activate it again, just for just... That plan. Uh, no, I not want to do that thing. It's kind of funny. One of the things I distinctly remember as a kid it was being delighted to find uh, the Storm Atronax. Hmm. Or whatever they, they were called as an equivalent here. Uh, just because of they would always refill our mana entirely. And my sister used to joke that uh, they were our friends and just here uh, to give us more magic. <laughs> right after we beat them to death. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Alright, this takes us back almost to the entrance. But there are things to find. So okay. yeah, yeah, I've been I've been averse to ESO for a while because yeah, it, it was a little weird with its class system. I have heard this, yeah. Oh, do they have different death poses when uh, they die paralyzed? Or, or they're just frozen, huh? Because hmm. remember, the vampire had uh, changed dramatically to a different sprite. Some more grinding might be in order before we. Nope. Nope, okay. <laughs> mm. Well, I can't seem to kill the trolls. Well, no, they regenerate. Though, question mark, uh, what happens if you cast Fireball at them? Um, I don't think that worked out too well last time. Fair enough. I'm just checking because uh, traditionally you can kill trolls with fire. That looks thoroughly splatted. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll find out. Does troll regenerate now? Well, definitely not holding on to its stuff. Yeah. Okay, then. And that was a very different sprite. Yeah, I don't recall what the not quite dead sprite looks like. That was spider. Huh. Uh, that was the greatest of all dangers here. Yeah. Alright, so put on the hazmat suit and blow them up. Yep, that seems to be our solution. Yeah, uh, you know, like like any Elder Scrolls game, uh, I I wonder if it's really like one thing that keeps me going back to ESO, or it's just everything just kind of clicks in the right way. It is neat seeing a lot of these locations revisited, since a lot of them we haven't seen since Arena. I mean, some some of the cities are a bit of a disappointment. Let's see, uh, like uh, Mornhold. Mm -hmm. As far as City of Life, City of Magic goes. Yeah, it's kind of small. Nice. <laughs> 
you want to save and not load. Because in Morrowind, it really was a dramatic uh, change of pace from uh, the standard Morrowind, where everything was somewhat dusty and worn. Yeah. All right, where are you, jerk? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good boy. Take every <laughs> victory. Ooh, oh, okay. We see a way up. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess uh, I, I can start with what it does away with one problem I have a lot of MMOs is that. Um, you, you level up too quickly. Now, how it resolves that is through level scaling of all things. Okay. And it's it, it's a bit much to explain how it works, but it basically makes makes it so wherever you go, a crocodile is still a crocodile, mm -hmm. a bear is still a bear, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And all pose equivalent threats. Uh, yeah. Um, and where where you get stronger is by you know using more abilities, uh, more wisely. Okay, like, so like it's I'm, more focusing on player ability than uh, character. Well, no, it's it's more based on you get stronger through uh, your stats. Well, okay, not not through your stats, but by what you ha have in your uh, arsenal. Mm -hmm. So you just have more ways of, of dealing with it. Okay. Um, like the mage guild gave Ooh. gave me a. Sorry, I get excited when I see Chessler. Alright, we're good. Heal. <laughs> that thing's a twitching. consult you like that? Right. I think it's time to head on upstairs. So it also means that if you like missed a quest, ooh, shiny. If you missed a quest in the beginning of era, you can go back and do that and you are still rewarded for your level and not just not a set level. Mm -hmm. So you're not going back and saying, "There's, n I want to see the story, but there's no point and it ends up being a waste of my time. Right. Jesus Christ. You. This is not precisely a forgiving game. Nope. Well, I guess we're kind of used to that. All right, so fireball. All right, jerks. Oh, thank you. What now? Homunculus. In most uh, things, uh, those end up being... Uh, Artificial humans. Uh, specifically little wizard constructs. Because mm -hmm. I, I know they show up in uh, Castlevania every, every now and again. Yeah. I rather love the snowy trees and doors. Are those snowy or are those crystals? It's hard to say. This whole bit feels very snowy. Ah, friend. Actually, am I still absorbing? Yes. I am. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, that thing made of... Uh, ah! Ha 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 ha! That, I think, it lends a little bit of credence to our idea that this is a snow world. Yeah. Alright, Or the last one was the world of the dead. Hmm. Well, en entrails. Yes, entrails. Well, 
Well, it did suggest that uh, this tower exists in multiple dimensions. True. So, maybe we're seeing uh, several Daedric realms. Though, the, the those won't really be established until later, but possibly. You know what? I'm going to break, break all the rules and say fireball is the solution to everything. Perfect. I took out the lights. <laughs> Something is around, but not that close, so. I rather love the lanterns on the walls. Yeah. Since all of the wall textures are just sprites here and don't need to be separately modeled, it does give us uh, a lot more difference in kind yeah. when it comes to environments. Yeah, sometimes uh, the painting can just do a lot. Yeah. To to illustrate. Oh, the snow wolves. Oh, good. I always feel bad about how they made me kill those because I love their sprites. <laughs> Let's see. So, so yeah. Yes, so definitely uh, takes care of like that that problem that MMOs has. And to be fair, Guild Wars Two does that as well. Yeah, they also have a level scaling adaptation. Yeah. I also feel that the quests are well presented. Mm -hmm. Like uh, World of Warcraft would basically just give you a wad of text. I, I mean, granted, it was the time. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say it wasn't really voiced at that point, right? Well, uh, it, it, it very selectively voiced. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and that did come out in uh, two thousand and four. Yeah, whereas ESO. We have some better applications for this spell. Yes, thank you. Yes, yeah, so at this point you're getting uh, your mana pretty much continuously refilled. You might as well just keep using it. Yep. See, th this is the kind of strategy I have. Little things that make all the difference. Mm -hmm. Just a difference of one, one or two factors. Like, not, not just bombarding it with, like, you know, spell after spell, spell after spell. Though I am doing plenty of bombarding. It's beyond my skill, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clearly. Hello. Ooh. That looks like a tomb. <sighs> Jump button isn't working. Now it is. Alright, well. That was for nothing. Thing is, though, that's very deliberately constructed like this. Yeah. Alright. Well, it seems to be. Oh, I see. You're supposed to get through. Well, that's how it's supposed to get through. Uh, I think I could think of a better way of getting through. Yeah, okay. Because, no, I don't feel like going, going into the water. Thank Fair you very enough. much. So, first some preparations. Spell absorb. Because I have a feeling whatever's behind that is going to wobble blow me to bits. There's a good chance of that, yeah. Pass wall, where are we going? There we are. Yep, very much. There we are. Okay. Right. Nothing to fear from you? Nothing but fear, but fear itself. Lots of frost ash around here. 
I guess I know I'm calling them the names from the later games, but... Well, Dykeville did have a distinction between Atronac and Gollum. True. I, I think Atronac... Well, actually, no. I think it was the difference between Fire Daedra... And Flame Atronax. Yeah. I feel like these ones actually use melee attacks. There we are. Melted. <sighs> it, was bring, it does bring up the point that unless you really know what you're doing, uh, doing a non-hybrid class is a bit rough. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that was a mistake. Okay. okay. Well, let's see what fire dark does. Something pretty similar. All these fearless locks. Actually, this might be a good time to rest. Save. Save and rest. Awesome. Sounds like he's on the other side of the door, but... Take your way over. What was that? I'm hoping something's throwing magic at me so I can. Get... Oh, you are the best. <laughs> You, 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 you guys, you, 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 you guys are friends. Making sure you're in good shape and don't need to stop and rest nearly as often. Yep. Proving a challenge, eh? Been handling those all day. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh. Honestly, I'm not that worried about you acquiring stuff at this point. Yeah. How much gold do I have? Uh, check your inventory. We'll find out. Uh, 80,000. I, 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 I think good for a while. Yeah, probably. Because re repairs are like pennies. Yeah. In comparison to that. Okay, so we go back down that way. And I guess we can go through there and uh, eventually you know, make it around that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You know, I want to talk about ESO, but there's just kind of so much that it's kind of hard to organize my thoughts. That is fair. My guess is that will ultimately end up being a video of its own. Yeah, may maybe after I'm done... Uh, well, beyond my skills, was it? Uh, maybe after I'm done with, yeah, the main series. Which I, I, I want to uh, release uh, the Skyrim 1 at exactly 11.11. That is fair. We'll see how I do with that, but whatever. I think that's less splash damage. Hmm. Possibly. Turn off the lights. Yeah, 
I got him. I'm not that concerned. Hey, you've got a lot of stuff well, already. I mean, let's see if there's anything magic. I there's some normal plate boots. Oh, okay. Long swords. I was going to say a non magical staff. That surprises me. Well, keep in mind, uh, staffs in this one aren't magic items. They're uh, blunt weapons. Right. A lot of the magic stuff, so... We'll, take, we'll go back and pick up that tour. Yeah. Or mark, whatever it is. Or mark, yeah. A thing that you put on that no one can describe. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it'll be quicker to go. Yeah, I think we probably want to actually go north. Huh. Hey, I did hear someone was making a uh, a source port version of this. I would really like to see that. Just because this, it's fun, but it's also a touch inaccessible. Yeah. Alright. And don't get me wrong, it's worth the effort to get it working, but... It can be a hair tricky. Yeah. Now, I faintly recall your brother mentioning something about this place. Uh, he did tell us that we should make sure we have spell absorption for it. Well, I mean, something else, like a detail about the place itself. I don't recall what he said right off the top of my head. Ooh, and our scenery has changed again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a heavy musky scent lost through the rough hewn uh, like corridors. In the distance, you can hear what sounds like low growls. Oh boy. So, this should be something new. There are bones on the floor. I mean,. Well, yes, that's a common detail, but... Uh, we left pr plenty of bones on the floor <laughs> a little while ago. But combined with that bit of text, uh, oh boy. Okay, well, we know what to do here. Well, actually, I don't have that one. That's a problem. Uh... Oh, what went down? <laughs> I suspect we're going to be seeing a lot of these guys. <laughs> Don't want to go buckler. Oh, diamond, diamond key. key. Ooh. Oh, so I should actually search these. Oh, God. I, hope I was going to say, these guys in particular, maybe. <laughs> Stench of offal and excrement is almost unbearable. Nearby, you hear strange sounds issuing from what looks like cell doors. All right. Oh, let us save. So I guess that's a that's an odd word. Hmm. On the floor is a pressure plate. A sign above it reads, Emergency Cell Release Station uh, Section 1 and 2. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm going to hold you the sound of locks and bolting. Eh? Okay, so I'm going to, okay, so lock. So let's find out if that was a terrible idea. Bestiary section one. 
rats. Rats. Work? Possibly. I'll see them. Skeleton got out though. So this place was originally a bestiary. Or maybe even still is. Yeah. Skeleton. I said goblins. Snow wolf, uh, swearing specimen has ice breath. Good boy. Can probably leave the round shield. Yeah. Do you want to release section three? Oh, why not? Oh, oh, I see. So those are those locks. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to rest. It would probably be safer to do it in the hole there. The damage aura. Okay. This might actually give us a lot more information on various monsters. What in the. That. Is that a mummy? Possibly. rocks. It did sound like grinding stone there. Yeah. Alright. Cell is empty. On a plaque to one side has been hastily asked your name. It seems that someone has been expecting you. What immediately springs to mind is the Thalmor. Whoa, hello. So, I think... Spell version. Yeah. And I'm going to say mirror, too.
you think they inspired the day drop design later? Possibly. Makes sense. Though it also appears to have a flaming sword, so. Do you have some sort of uh, ice spell? That is not helping. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> Nice. You know, I will say things like that uh, bit are effectively a lot more uncanny, uncanny I think, uh, than a lot of things that they'll do with later games. Yeah, like uh, when something just appears mm -hmm. w without much ceremony. Uh, but... Also, there was the door. Oh, I saw it. See, see, him. see him was there. Oh, okay. <sighs> The new suitcase attack, do not stare. Don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd say it's not a move on. Okay. Nearby. Oh, a wizard. Oh, I have just the thing for that. Uh, no, no, there we go. Would Medusa show up in any of the later games? Not that I recall. Uh, the closest I can think of are the Lamia. Yeah. I wonder what warning they might have put next to our name. <laughs> warning spell absorption. Those dangerous dark elf alive. Interesting web motif, or is that cracked ice? Hard to tell.
looking through this, we'll find any hints as to why Deja Four or Shet might be becoming more prevalent in the Somerset Isles. Well, we have this weird tower. Yeah. Which apparently uh, goes into more worlds at once. And, well, uh, I'm on the impression that the Somerset Isles were pretty isolated in general. In, in, in other games, at least. Yeah. I mean, there's been plenty of travel to and from. see high elves in well, every game, so. Yeah. Mm. You know, that's another thing. Like, this game has, you know, new looks for the dungeons and also, you know, new monsters. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, not to say that, you know, Daggerfall never has new monsters, but, uh, you know, you don't really have, like, a setup for them like that. Yeah, it feels a touch more homogenous. It's, in a large part, because of the system they used for building out those dungeons. Yeah. As I said before, I, I hope uh, the monitors put up a proper expansion that is less about randomization, more just uh, cool. Hello. To enter within, uh, thou must find the meaning of this passage. In a marble hall as white as milk, linen with skin as soft as silk, Okay. Uh, within a fountain crystal clear, a golden apple doth appear. No doors there are to this stronghold, yet thieves break in into to steal the gold. What is thy answer? I actually know this one, so I'm going to keep quiet. Okay, so marble halls. Skin. I can tell you it's something you've seen in real life. That narrows it down. Um, what is it? I can tell you it's at least partially edible. In fact, you eat one every day. Bread? No. Egg? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. I see the piece. I think. Let's make sure we've got our spell absorption on. They proceed to the eye power at the carol. Uh, oh! <laughs> Was that it? Don't mess with the wizard. So. The fifth. Oh, alright. We were more than halfway. You attach the fifth piece of the staff, and for a moment you feel a surge of energy pass into your body, almost as if the incomplete staff were a live thing. Okay. Enter at your own peril, please. I, yeah, I faced a fire demon in the floor below. He, he sent me those jokers. Should we just find our way out? I was going to say, you know what's going to happen the next time you try to sleep. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and turn invisible. And run your way through. Pretty much. Good boys, big. Oh, experience. Fair enough. I still do. Yep. Yes. 
and crucially, still absorbing spells. Mm-hmm. <sighs> in some ways, it does feel kind of like the original Zelda enhanced. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't have the free exploration that the original had. Yeah, I mean, you can wander the landscape, but why would you? I mean, it's, it's good for, for a random dungeon. Mm-hmm. So, question. Of the monsters you've seen so far, uh, what would you like to see me make out of beads? Oh, also the fire game was pretty cool. Okay. Because now that we've got the space, I'd rather like to get into that again. Or. Of course. This guy. That uh, could be fun. Sans helmet. Oh. Oh, oh. Boy. Okay. Joke's on you, jackass. do a few of those, but thankfully you'll have to refill your mana, so. Thanks. To be fair, I did well on with the sword. Yeah. In fact, while well, I'm well, just kind of standing here and not dying, See, this is why I like health bars. Yeah, I can see that. Yep, there. Because it's kind of hard to tell what, if anything, you're doing. Yeah, and some people, I've seen some arguments like, well, it's not realistic. Like, realistically, you you can hazard a guess at how your opponent is doing. Yeah, realistically, you have some kind of visual feedback. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can probably go due north and then pass wall if you feel like it. Yeah, I, th- I think I feel like it. Morning, extremely dangerous. Well, I'm two for two. Honestly, I feel like the Medusa was more dangerous. Yeah. Make sure we're reabsorbing. Yep. Make a nice broad path. So you could just pass wall this one wall. Not to be cheap. Yes. Let me absorb you. Or not. Oh, thank you. I was gonna say you can't absorb lights, but thank you, good boys. Goodbye. Are you amused by one-hit kills? <laughs> well, it's kind of like, um... Oh, hello. You know, video games are not always the greatest spec- spectator sports. Mm-hmm. But it, they don't need to be either. Like, I can appreciate the fact that I'm just strong enough to take take out, you know, that one hit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the, and the combat system is simple enough where it doesn't feel like I missed out using, like, a combo or something. Mm-hmm. Insult me, will you? Just put on the belt. 
I mean, you, to be fair, you're already wearing one. No, put on the other one. <laughs> this isn't a life held design. Yeah, but just just the nature of belts. We can just tie it around you. The nature of belts. There's the quote of the, of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've definitely uh, <laughs> ascended to, to another level to take out those guys without much. Yeah. <laughs> like, like an A-now thing. Well, now that you're getting regular refills on your mana. Yep. Well, little, well, I mean, I'm pretty high level. Like six, I think the max is 20. Okay, so yeah, you're fairly far up there anyway. Yeah. Spoke too soon. Thank you. Hey, they've been worse. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can beeline it down. Let's find out. It'd be kind of funny if you could, like, uh, yeah, pass wall the exterior and just uh, jump out. You specifically can't, but yes, it would be. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I'm guessing that just wore off. Yep. <laughs> okay. Time to reapply your hazmat suit. Mm hmm. Well, it's better than a hazmat suit, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I can't. Whatever. Good challenge? You see it? Thank now, you, buddy. <laughs> now you see it? Now you only see bits of it. Um, okay, you're almost there. Oh. Gotta say, the skeletons are pretty nasty at the beginning of both this and Daggerfall. Yeah. They're challenging in a way that they wouldn't be uh, in their later games. Well, they were kind of up there in Oblivion, but only because of how the level scaling worked. Yeah. All right. Let's see, I think we were here. L yeah, Lilandra was where the major skill was. So, I say we should probably go to an inn and rest, just because we know what's going to happen. Oh, I'll pull away your sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rough day, Rowan. Yeah. Just so we're not accidentally killing anyone. <laughs> I only eliminated the crime wave of uh, Morrowind earlier. <laughs> So you've got a place marked as in a little bit to the south. Yeah. But yeah, it's much easier to swap out some sprites than to come up with whole new 3D models. Yeah. And you can definitely tell there's a lot of cut and pasting. Uh, mm hmm That's good. That being said, I feel like they use it to good effect. Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah, how, how best to put on the illusion. Apparently the favorite on the menu. Thankful for a 
for safe haven. Somerset, right, we've so been elsewhere. Valwood, Somerset, we have been. Yeah. Okay. Uh, elsewhere, Hammerfell. Mm-hmm. So that leaves high the the last three corners here: High Rock, Morrowind, and Black Marsh. Yes. Knowing how things would be named later, uh, the Crypt of sounds like something we'd find in High Rock. Well. I guess we can talk to someone. Ask around a little bit. And then and then we should probably stop. Yeah, time. I was going to say, I think we're running up about at the hour mark, so. But let's find someone to talk to first. Somewhere in the fog. Hey! Someone. Somewhere. This isn't creepy at all. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Of course, this is going to be like the most rude person on the face of the earth. Oh, hi, Robert. There we go. All right. All right, so we have uh, survived the Crystal Towers. I beat the hell out of some demons. So next time, I think we will join you in High Rock. Yes. Anyway, it's great to get back to this game. Uh, I, th I think uh, it's Turok's turn next time. Okay. Uh, but uh, otherwise, have a good night, everyone. Until next time, my name is Eva. And this is Frank. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Good night.